Are you excited about extending your curriculum with creative and digital activities? In this lesson, we'll show you how to combine two powerful platforms, Adobe and Khan Academy, in order to take student engagement and learning to the next level. Adobe's mission is to empower and inspire lifelong creators. Our education exchange gives educators the tools, training, courses, teaching resources, and community they need to be successful, all for free. Meanwhile, Khan Academy provides free online learning resources for teachers and students across subjects and disciplines with video and question-based lessons and curriculum. Here at Adobe, we've partnered with expert educators to build a library of activities and projects that extend instructional material from Khan Academy. We design them to be flexible and ready to use, so you can quickly engage students and deepen their learning through creative applications of all kinds. Throughout this course, You'll see examples of these materials and instructional strategies built into every lesson. They also apply more broadly, helping you bridge core content and disciplinary skills to creative and digital applications. For example, you can have students convert information from a scientific article into an infographic, or analyze a historical event by creating a podcast, or explore their strengths by creating a career portfolio. Let's hear how some different educators have extended their core content. In the resource Illustrated Cell Map, students start by engaging with some Khan Academy content on the parts of the cell. Then they use Adobe Illustrator and a sample template that we've prepared to create a kind of illustrated and aestheticized um, map of a cell. Not just a sort of simple diagram, but something that can fold in other images, aesthetics, um, you know, stuff they like, stuff that they're interested in. Uh, and what I think is really exciting and powerful about this is it asks students not to just sort of reiterate content, but actually to take it and make it their own aesthetically um, and creatively to really uh, express themselves and, and also to tr connect the dots between scientific knowledge and creative expression. What I love about the Khan and Adobe collaboration is that students not only are developing a new understanding of content and building skills based around that content area, but they're also given the chance to deepen their digital fluency. And as students start with a small tool like Adobe Spark Post or a user-friendly tool like Adobe Spark Video, students can gain the confidence to feel that they might be able to try another tool. And you can have conversations about what do deep demonstrations of learning and digital artifacts look like? And what do they sound like? And kids can continue to build those skills as they try more advanced tools that give them more control over editing, choices, and options for how it is that they tell their digital stories. One of my favorite um, the lesson series on Khan Academy is the uh, growth mindset. So I work with uh, primary age students. So uh, you may refer to that as K-12 uh, in the US, but when I uh, have the students showing them uh, the, the brain, the, the brain animation and how the brain works with neurons and how uh, when, uh, you know, how the neurons connect and, and, and how you can actually grow when you feel like you don't know something, your brain is actually growing. I love that activity. And then of course, you know, kind of design your own uh, uh, neurons, design uh, the, your brain and what it looks like. You know, just whip out Adobe Spark, uh, allow the students to collaborate using uh, Spark and kind of uh, 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 mapping out what their brain looks like. It's, it, it's brilliant. 